Today, we are in Space Flight Simulator and we're going to be recreating the Starship rocket and the Super Heavy Launcher section of it. And we're gonna attempt to do the re-entry thing where we, after the stage happens, we fly the launch section of it, the Super Heavy section, back and land it onto the Earth and get the Starship into orbit and back safely. We're gonna do this all in Space Flight Simulator. It's gonna be kind of hard. Let's get into it. Starship won't be easy if you want to do the landing of the first part. Yeah, uh, but it, imagine how cool it would be. We probably only need like eight wide. So this is the launch booster, and then it has like, you know, these on the bottom. And then the super heavy booster is going to be below this. So it actually like curves more. I have BP editing, don't I? Oh no, maybe I don't. Okay, so we're gonna do this vanilla. So you guys could copy this if you want with no mods. This is like the orbital stage of it. So maybe we put... Oh wait, this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. How does it re-enter? The entire thing, like this whole top section does, right? Okay, we're gonna need to go smaller. Put a bigger fairing here to hide the engine. Let's hope it doesn't explode like some other launches face with peeking on. Like some other launches? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so ugly. It looks disgusting, I know. But it like looked like pretty good like this, you know? It just looks so bad. It just looks so bad. I think you should try to make it functional before you worry about looks. Yeah, probably. The entire thing is supposed to be like symmetric. Like it doesn't curve in, you know, you know what I mean? So like maybe if we just... You see the vision? That looks better. And then make these silver. I'm mainly wanting to see if the bearing is attached. Okay, it's definitely not. It does launch though. So, I mean, that's good. We need to figure out a way to attach the fairing. And I think I'm gonna get blueprint editing and we can actually make this look reasonable. Hey, I got it, I got it. All right. It needs to be taller. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. And we're gonna have to add parachutes in here. We could probably put them on the inner layer. That starship is way too small. That looks right. I mean, the real thing's very, very big. The real thing's like, what, 50 meters? 121 meters, is that correct? That would take up this entire thing. We're going more for looks, because this game isn't realistic anyway with the, the planet's only one-tenth scale. Can we launch and land safely? That's the prediction. If you guys enjoy these videos, there's a good chance you like learning about science and technology. And there's a really good way to help yourself get smarter and learn about stuff like this. Just check out today's video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is an app that gives you fun lessons in science, math, programming, and more. It's what I use to learn something new every day and train my brain to love learning. Probably my favorite thing about Brilliant is it's not just teaching you to memorize answers. It trains your critical thinking, so while you're learning about scientific topics, you're also learning to be a better thinker. It does this because all of Brilliant's lessons are interactive, and they help you build an understanding of the topic from the ground up. Anybody at any level can learn and have fun using Brilliant. I also love that you can use Brilliant on the web or you can download their mobile app and learn from anywhere. If you wanna level up your thinking, check out Brilliant free for a full 30 days. Visit brilliant.org slash spaceship or scan the QR code on screen now, or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual subscription. Thank you so much to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Oh, I need to add the fins at the top. Um, there you go. <laughs> that looks so bad. Ah, it's loud. Hey, hey, Starship, guys. And since it uses ion engines, it's going to be very fuel efficient. Honestly, this maybe could make it to orbit. I don't like it. <laughs> what do you mean? That's Starship. What do you mean? Perfect recreation. I hate the swapped reflections. Why does it do that? Oh, why is it going that way? I don't know why it's flying that way. Parachutes. It might be too bottom heavy. And it looks like when did the parachutes fully open? Uh, I think they are. Uh, we're alive. It launched and landed safely. Um, quick thing we I want to fix 
I want to spread this out more to make it not so bottom heavy because I think that's what made it lose control like this but then drain oh the this one's already empty that's gonna be part of the problem and then I mean we're gonna want this to have this so empty empty and then I think if we just feel, fill this one only because then it's like center or maybe like a quarter in this tank and a quarter in this tank and that should be enough 18 in that one okay i think that will fix it and we don't need the heat shield lower defense it took me eight minutes to put these fins here i do not want to do them again <laughs> let's see if i fix the hard to control part and yeah now it's gonna fly better because there's less mass now rate it out of 10 guys Let's go eight, eight's good. 7.6, 4.623 out of 10 for effort. Wait, you're giving me a 4.6 and that's with extra effort points added? So what is it actually? I'm good with these, uh, with these ratings. I think averaging out, some people said like a million. So I think average, it's over a hundred. Okay, let's try the parachutes. And okay, we don't want to burn. So maybe just face this way. We might have to use some fuel to slow down because we don't have any heat shields. It shouldn't be too bad though. Maybe just put a tiny bit more fuel in and then we're perfect. Okay, we're good, we're not burning. And we think parachutes should be fine. Dropping down. Oh, we're going too fast, go. Oh no, we were fine, we're about to slow down. And let's check the landing. That's fine. We'll probably be less fuel than this. Okay, Starship is done. All we have to do is add the, the launch section. So let's move everything up and then add, and then ideally a fairing. Does that work? <laughs> so first stage is gonna be these. Second stage, just break this. And is this a separate fairing? We should test it. If I break. Oh, that's what I didn't want to happen. Uh, I think maybe just... That might not technically be connected. Hey, okay, perfect. All right, now, Starship and Super Heavy together. Kind of <laughs> ugly. Make it reusable. Oh, yeah, we were going to do that. Okay, we need to just part clip a probe into here. And then after it breaks, we'll have to take control of this. Oh, that's going to be hard to try to land that. Uh, we'll, tr we'll try. All right. Final design, what do we think? Use landing legs? Oh yeah, it does have, put these lower. We're making like an engine hover. Like that? Okay. Doesn't look like a starship. What, what do you mean? <laughs> All right, let's try it. The problem is we can't control two rockets at the same time. So we're gonna do it twice. The first launch, we're just gonna try to get to orbit with the starship. And then the second launch, we'll try to launch and then break this section off and land it safely can we make it to orbit and return safely 89 percent think yes okay i won't let you guys down three two one go uh oh they're too close no The engines were clipping and they burned each other. Uh, Chip, you sold. Hey, you guys could see this the whole time. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I'm so, I'm so sorry, actually. Uh, okay, how about this time? Can we do it? I will fix that. I just need to... <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny, actually. That should work, right? All right, this time doesn't work. Sorry if you lost all of your, your chips. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm not a believer now. Three, two, one, go. Okay, to orbit, let's go. I wonder how much fuel we should save to do the re-landing part. That's gonna be so hard. Let's save 30%. Please don't sell. No, I got this, I got this. All right, we'll go now. Break off. Oh, uh, okay, well this one's still going. I don't know what happened there. We're gonna make it to orbit though. The whole launcher thing broke. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think we might've been moving too fast. Uh, this one is just carrying the orbit in return. So it's still going, it's still going. Hey, chips have a chance. All right, into space. 
Hopefully there's enough fuel. Like, we don't want to burn up because we didn't put any heat shields on. I'm worried, like, maybe these fins burn up on re-entry. We'll see. I do think we, there's enough fuel to get to orbit. Uh, okay. Halfway done. There is orbit. Now we need to de-orbit and hopefully slow down enough that we don't burn up because, once again, there are no heat shields. I couldn't figure out a good way to add them without making it look terrible. Chip, I've been watching you since your KSP noob attempts Mooner landing, and this is so far the worst <laughs> rocket you've ever made. Bro, <laughs> this looks great. What do you mean? All right, I'm going to try to slow down to not burn up. This is our temperatures down here. If these get full, the parts break. I don't know if we're going to live. I'm going to be for real. Maybe I burn more up because the deeper we go into the atmosphere, the thicker it's going to be. So if I can slow down our descent into the atmosphere, that might save us. Looks like that's working. Yeah, okay. And then I'll start burning this way. Okay, um, they are still heating up. It's worrying me a bit, but I think we're fine. I think we lived. Yeah, they, yeah, the temperatures are going down. We're fine. Dropping down now. They are heating up a little bit, but I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Go, slow down, slow down. Uh, oh no. Uh, please don't burn, please don't burn. <gasps> no, that's so bad, it's so close. It's so close to burning. Oh, no way, I saved that. Did you see how close it was? Okay, we did it, we did it, we're fine, we're fine. It did not burn, did not burn. That's the closest I think I've ever seen something to burning up. Good thing I saved a little bit of fuel. And then once we get below 2,500 meters, we can open the parachutes. I told you guys I would do it. Parachutes fully opened. And then we'll do a little boost right at the end. Slow us down a little more. And we're fine. <laughs> they will have to repair one booster. I call that a success. We are definitely safe. We can recover the rocket. All right, now the hard part, which is trying to land the booster, which did not work last time. We got to do some tests. So it seems to work if... Yeah, it seems to work standing still. So is it just the movement messed it up? This is a test launch. Let's see. I don't know what happened. There was a collision. Yeah, it's like we broke off, but then the this ran into that. So maybe we add like little boosters, like separatrons, to push this backwards? Yeah. So what happened there? The fairings burned, but how'd they burn? What if we do it? No, that's even worse. The bottom is moving too fast. So we need like, it might be ugly, but it might be what we have to do. We'd have to deactivate these engines and then do it. No, what? Why isn't it working? Why can't it just drop the stage? These engines need to activate immediately. But the problem is it's giving control to this one. If these ones activated immediately, I think it would work. Try removing the fairing. This one. Oh, wait. Okay, it might have been the fairings. Okay, I think that works. So pretend the fairings there. I know it's more ugly like this, but I don't know what was wrong with the game. New prediction. Wait, most of you think I can? I don't even think I can. I'll do my best. I believe in you, Chip. Thank you. Okay, we're going until this is at 35% and we'll break it off. Okay, about right now. Break off. Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. Here, I'm gonna switch to this just to get it away. but we're actually we're not caring about that. This is what we're trying to land. So let's open the legs. I guess we just wait for a second and try to try to land it. Okay, we're coming back in. It does look like we're burning, so let's slow this down. This is a very powerful engine, so it should slow us down very quick, yep. This is gonna be similar to like landing on a different planet, having to time everything. Oh, that burned up our starship, but that's okay. How high are we? Okay. Okay, let's try it. Burn. Oh, okay, I'm stressing. Burn. Okay, we're going pretty slow now. Uh-oh. 
The rocket won't turn. It's too like top heavy or something. I'm trying to rotate it back straight up, but it's not working. This is bad. This is very bad actually. Ah, ah, stop. Okay, okay. Uh, it's doable. It's still doable. Uh, okay. <gasps> I clutched it. Oh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> that was so stressful, actually. There is the uh, reusable super heavy launcher landed back onto Earth. So theoretically, if there were one person controlling the starship and one person doing this, it would work just like the real rocket. Recover. Oh, okay. Yes, we can land it safely. Let's go believers. I did not think that would work, especially when the rocket started turning and I couldn't rotate it back. I thought I, w I was cooked. All right, there is our uh, Starship and Super Heavy launcher. Final rating of both of these together. They function. Uh, blueprint link will be in the description of the YouTube video. Six out of 10 forever. Eight or nine, let's go. I get to feed my family this month. <laughs> what, cause you want the prediction? Bro. Okay, there is Starship. That took a lot longer than I thought for one rocket. Uh, thank you all for watching. Comment what real rocket or like rover or anything really that we could make in this game. Leave a comment down below and whatever comment gets the most likes, we will do.